Now, before we jump into barcodes, it's important to note that I put USB scanner. I didn't put wireless scanner. I didn't put uh, Android scanner. I didn't put Wi-Fi scanner. And I didn't put uh, mobile warehouse scanner. That's a different function altogether. It's much more complex. It's got a lot more moving parts, a lot more tentacles that we're not going to be covering that today. We're going to covering simply the built-in USB barcode scanner functions. Now, you can go into Amazon and pick up uh, any cheap USB scanner for $20, any off-brand. They got some Honeywells that are 100 bucks, $130. You can even get a Bluetooth scanner, right? So just because it's wireless doesn't mean it's not a USB scanner. Now, this is in contrast with the mobile warehouse Android app that would have a bar that would have otherwise a barcode scanner built in, but we're not going to be covering that because that functionality is different and that functionality happens in the phone and it requires a specific setting. We're going to be covering that towards episode six or episode seven, I believe, when we're going to be covering that because mobile warehouse is an entirely different monster that requires its own two hours. Okay, but we're going to be covering USB barcode scanner. I happen to have. This one that was $50 in Amazon is, is really neat. Uh, it, it's, uh, it, I can hold it in the palm of my hand. Um, it's uh, off-brand, like Nadamco. Nobody's ever heard of it. I've had it for two years. It works great, battery-powered, and it has a little USB dongle that you can't lose that plugs to your computer, and then it's basically the same thing as having a USB uh, a wired barcode scanner. So... Let's go through the bullet points here. So number one, when you turn on barcodes for the first time, it will actually allow you to copy barcode, uh, barcode from the name, manufacturer's part number, purchase description, or custom field. So that assumes that you were tracking barcodes in QuickBooks, even though the barcode maybe wasn't functional, you were tracking the barcode, right? The UPC, for whatever reason, somebody took their time and typed down the number from the UPC barcode, they typed it in, QuickBooks in a custom field or in the name or the manufacturer's part number. So QuickBooks will give you the option to copy those over. So when you first turn on uh, barcodes, barcodes, it will give you that option. That's what that means. Uh, once we turn on barcode functionality, it will have its own field. So it will have its own data field in QuickBooks. Uh, there's no barcode support for different units to measure. Right? And I've had this restriction with a lot of my clients where the, the individual items have a barcode, but the vendor sometimes sell, sends them a 12-pack or a 100-pack or a 50-pack. And then the barcode sticker on the, on outside that box is not for the individual item, it's for the 50-pack. So when they scan that, it doesn't do anything. So it requires them to break open the box and scan the individual product and then add the, the, the numerical quantity that they receive. So that's not available yet. That's been a, a, a very much requested feature crossing our fingers and maybe in 2021 or 2022 we'll see that but right now it's only one barcode per item okay uh, there's a really important setting that you need to be aware of which is a preference called pressing enter moves between fields and the reason why that's important is because uh, barcode scanners especially off-brand they're very difficult to program. They have this little booklet that you have to scan, do different combinations of scan to make it, to reprogram it. And in many cases, uh, basically this acts like a keyboard. And imagine what the barcode scanner does is it reads the number from the barcode and then presses enter. And then in QuickBooks, if you've been a QuickBooks desktop user for a while, you know enter many, many times it doesn't give you the desired uh, result, right? Enter many, many times saves and closes the transaction. So if you're trying to scan a bunch of transactions into QuickBooks and your barcode scanner sends QuickBooks an enter uh, command, it might do the wrong thing and screw you up. So by pressing or by selecting pressing enter between fields, it avoids that enter being recognized as an enter and then it gets recognized as a tab and it doesn't save and close your transaction. Okay, so really important. Also, where does the barcode scanner work? It works underestimates, sales orders, invoices, sales receipts, purchase orders, bills, inventory transfers, checks, and credit card. Where does it not work, which drives me insane, 
is it doesn't work in the adjust quantity on value screen, probably the place where we want, we want it the most. It doesn't work in the bill of materials list. So you can't scan your, your bill of materials in there. It doesn't work on price levels. It doesn't work on build assembly. However, if you have any screen that has a finance select items button in it, you can click on that and then you can use the barcode as a search functionality. So we can cover that. Okay. So now very important, we're going to, this is a distinction between using a USB barcode scanner hooked up to your computer where QuickBooks is versus using the mobile warehouse solution, which is an Android device that can either have a built-in barcode right on top of the device, or it can use the same item that I have in my hand here, a Bluetooth scanner that's not synced to the computer, but synced to the phone. So you can actually have an Android device using a, a standard Bluetooth device that could potentially work on a desktop or on a, on a phone. You can use the mobile warehouse solution. Again, we're going to cover that in episode seven because we're going to go into much uh, detail on that. And you cannot just grab any random barcode technology like Wasp. Um, and there's just a whole bunch of others that have this neat little screens and they have all sorts of awesome barcode accessories. QuickBooks doesn't work with that, right? That's all proprietary. That works with its own software. That works with its own system. So just a warning against just you buying a random uh, barcode solution thinking that that's going to work in QuickBooks. So let's go into QuickBooks so we can discuss how that works. So let me go ahead and open up QuickBooks here. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first, I'm going to turn on barcodes, right? So I'm going to click on edit and then preferences, then items and inventory. Little checkbox here that says enable my barcode scanner. That's first step. But the second thing is not just enabling the barcode scanner, it's also enabling the barcode feature altogether. So we click on company preferences, advanced inventory settings, barcodes, and then we're gonna uh, check that or uncheck that, right? So in this case, I had it checked, so I'm gonna turn on and check it again, and then click on okay. Okay, and then okay, and then it will basically close everything out and now officially enable barcodes. So I'm gonna go into the list menu and items. And I've created prior to the webinar, a couple of items here that we're gonna use with barcodes. So I have a couple of books in my desk, okay? I got this book called Positioning for Professionals. Great book. <laughs> it's added into my item list and the barcode is there. So the way that will work is to load up your, your items. You have to create the item in QuickBooks first. You're gonna plug in your USB scanner to your computer, turn on the feature so you have the field available and you simply just scan it and you have to load them in QuickBooks. So your first step is to make sure that all your items have a barcode in their database. So you go into each of the items, each one of the items, you go and you load up the barcode. After you've done that, you can, in the item list, you can right click, click on customize columns. You can find a barcode or barcode image, either the image is fun too. Add that and then we'll bring that up. And then you will see all the items that have barcodes in them, okay? So basically any item that's missing a barcode that, that just basically reminds you or lets you know that you got to go back into the item and add the barcode. So I go into my item, go into barcode. I can hand key it if I want to, or I could just um, scan it. Okay. And bring that in there and then click on OK. Right. So you can hand key your barcodes or you can scan them and have your barcodes loaded up. So at, at some point, I assume that you want to maybe not use the image. The image is fun to see. I think I really I like it. It's pretty, but it takes too much real estate. So I'm just going to select barcode. So only the number uh, shows up and enable that, uh, just that, right? So I, I just want to see the barcode, not the image, right? So once I do that, I can click on okay. And then I can come in here and I can sort by barcode. And then I, I, I know all my items that have barcodes and then you, somebody needs to do the work, right? Needs to come down the line and double click come in here, scan, double click, come here, scan, right? So you gotta go in there and load all your barcodes in there, okay? One by one. You can also load your barcodes using add, edit, multiple list entries. So you can go to list, 
add edit multiple list entries. Click on the drop down, click on inventory parts. Go here where it says customize columns, top right. We're going to look for barcodes. Oh, here it is. Okay. There we go. And then you can load them up in here as well. Okay. Now, um, QuickBooks uh, should warn you if a barcode is used more than once. Okay. So there it is. So you get you get this warning because you cannot have a barcode uh, used more than once. So it should warn you. And then this would be the perfect place to load them up. If you have the barcodes in Excel, the same way we uh, copy and pasted the serial numbers, you can do that as well. You can literally just bring in all your bar barcodes if you happen to have them in Excel. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and click on save changes and that will save all the items. Beautiful. Okay. So how would that work to actually uh, bring in the inventory? So let's say, for example, I'm going to go into a purchase order and I'm going to create a purchase order. I'll pick a vendor here, let's say Amazon, and then I'm going to buy some, some positioning from professionals. Let's say it's six of them, and then I'm going to buy some profit first books. Okay, and that would be uh, three of them, right? So I got the books here in front of me. I'm ordering them, and then I'm going to receive them. Okay, so once you place your order, and then it's time for you to receive it, enter bills. You pick your vendor. You will notice that QuickBooks has a checkbox that says, I'm scanning these items. So when you're going to receive it, you click on that. And then what happens is instead of receiving the quantities, it won't receive any quantities, right? Um, instead of receiving the quantities, it will wait for you to scan them in order to receive the quantities, right? So you literally just have to scan it, okay? And they will recognize it. And then every time you scan it, it will add up the quantity. So you scan it twice, you scan it three times, whatever it is, it will load up the quantity. So depending on which one you scan, it will load it in there. And as many times you scan it, it will increase quantity. So the, the, the purpose of, again, the USB barcode scanner is to replace your clicks, is to replace your, uh, your hand keying of the units and hand keying of the items. It doesn't really enhance the relationship with you and QuickBooks a lot more than just having a, 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 a glorified keyboard, right? The barcode scanner would be a glorified keyboard. So then I click on save and close. And then finally, when we're gonna sell them, we're gonna go into customers, create invoice, pick the item or pick the customer in this case. And then depending on what items you're gonna sell, simply just scan them and QuickBooks will recognize them. So you notice that the minute I scan them, it recognizes them. Really, the, the, the purpose of it, right? You scan the item instead of having to click on the drop-down menu and, uh, and, and picking it. So again, it's a glorified keyboard. It doesn't do a lot more than that. I believe that some people have strange expectations to what the barcode scanner should do. Um, it's really simply just like that. And um, you can scan in the lot number screen. So if you're using uh, serial numbers or lot numbers, you can certainly scan there as well. So if you want to scan a lot number because you have it in a barcode format or a serial number, you can scan it in there. So it's totally acceptable for you to uh, scan uh, in your lot numbers and your serial numbers if you have a barcode uh, with them. Last thing I want to show you is once you have the barcodes enabled, you can print uh, barcode labels. So when you go to file and you go into print forms, we're going to click on labels and then we're going to click on item barcodes and we're going to go into, let's say, all inventory parts and then I'll click on OK and then I'm going to click uh, a label printer. So depending on the type of printer that I have, you can use the thermal label printer, you can use uh, shipping labels, whatever. So any pages that you have that have stickers eventually. And once you do that, basically for the situations in which your products maybe don't have barcodes in them, and you're going to create your own barcodes or let QuickBooks generate a random barcode for them, um, 
then you can then print the labels and you can uh, take take your stickers or take your uh, label itself and stick it onto maybe each individual product or into the bin or the shelf where you normally have them. So uh, this all, it's also kind of functional for people that deal with products that usually don't have barcodes, but you create sort of your own barcodes uh, for them.